Hey, what's up my fellow ghost? It's Morgan here, but you can call me Smoke. Welcome back to another Ghost Recon Wetlands video. In today's video, I want to update you guys about a very important information concerning Ghost War PvP on Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yesterday, Ghost Recon team dropped the bombshell. They announced the PvP for Ghost Recon Wildlands, which is called the Ghost War. I believe you might have seen the video by now, but just in case you haven't seen it, I will leave a link in the description. You can go check it out or you have heard about it. But there are some items and some piece of information that you might have missed out from yesterday's video. And I'm here today to show you and explain to you one of the most important piece of information about the classes in Ghost War PvP. There are five different classes you can select when playing Ghost War PvP, which are Tank, Sniper, Enforcer, Scout and Artillery. These five classes have unique game style and equipment, so you have to choose very carefully which class you want. I will get into full details on each class, stick around and I will explain it to you guys. But before we get into it, I must say these speculations are based on my own theory. I gathered in the intel from the Ghost War PvP announcement and videos from yesterday. So they are still developing the game. So it's possible this theory will make it to the final game mode. So with that being said, let me explain the classes. Like I mentioned, there are five classes. The tank, the sniper, enforcer, scout and artillery. The tank, they are every class and much slower but heavily armored and equipped with LMGs. They are different weapon loadout is basically LMG, heavy armored, probably a jammer, a frag grenade, handgun, asylums, and LVG and binoculars. But this class will be more slower compared to other classes. There will be loads of LMGs that you can select from, from your weapon loadout. I can't really say if you need to buy them in packs or you can find them in crates or you already own them in your weapon loader that i cannot say but one thing i'm sure about is that there will be tons of lmgs that you can select from the sniper class these are the elite long range class you will need them on your team to keep the enemy away from your base they are incubed with a jammer a ghillie suit and instead of a, instead of an armor and with a good range sniper rifle their default loadout are jammer sniper rifle and gun frag grenade and pair of nvg and binocular I predict that there will be a lot of players playing a sniper because they can stay away and using a sniper rifle to pin you down. Uh, I hope there will be some there will be some kind of way you can counter that because I believe most of people who will be playing the PvP will be using they will be playing as a sniper class. So I hope the team are ready to counter that. The enforcer, I believe this class will play out like an assault class they are equipped with an assault rifle and probably a submachine gun and a medium armor their default loadout are basically assault rifles or submachine gun probably a scanner and gun a sidearm frag grenade and a pair of nvg and binoculars the enforcer are the main guy they are the assault guy they are the vanguard on the ground and ready to assault the enemies the scout the scout class i believe is the main body of a team in Ghost War PvP, they will be the one to scout ahead for enemies and do call out and support in any way they can. So the scout, the, the scout class is very important when it comes to Ghost War PvP. Their divert loadout are drones, light armor, and submachine or even submachine gun, and gun, aside arms, frag grenade, and of course NVG and binoculars. Because of their light loadout, they are very fast and full of stamina. I believe this class will be one of those class who have access to drone and I believe there will be just two classes who have access to drone and I might be wrong though, it's just a speculation based on the trailer and the intel I gather from Ghost War PvP announcements. The artillery class, this class is similar to the scout also, they can scout and support the team, they have medium armor and they also play out as engineers class, so this means they have access to more tools and items compared to other players. 
tools and items like mines, probably a mortar fire and a torrent. Their default loadout are SMGs, handgun, a sidearms, a drone, mine, frag grenades and pair of NVG and binoculars. So these are the five classes for the Ghost War PvP based on my own speculation and intel I gather from the Ghost War announcement videos. So wait a minute guys, let me confirm something that I speculated about a few weeks ago about the PvP concerning the faction state. Check out this picture from the community play test video. There is a tab for faction state. So does that mean we will be fighting for our selected faction state? The answer is I believe is yes. So let's get hype and hopefully Ghost War PvP open beta will be here very soon. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below so I can know your opinion on Ghost War PvP and PvP classes. And if you're new to my channel, you should consider subscribing for more Ghost Recon Wildlands video and gameplay. And if you did, don't forget to turn on the notification so you won't miss out any of my future videos and giveaway. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.